wish there was a way to disable tutorials. Maybe there is. I just... I couldn't find it. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, poor dude. Nah, let's, let's do a bit of reading. Another thing, I never read all of the codexes. I usually hate reading. <laughs> I love being read to, which is why... Well, it's a huge reason for me to make this channel in the first place. I would like to read for people, even though I'm struggling a lot, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> To be honest, I really enjoy reading for people, but not for myself. Okay, let's read about Cassandra. Cassandra Pentagast. Lord Seeker Lucius, I am fully aware of the intent behind your predecessor's declaration. Lord Seeker Lambert pried the Templars away from the Chandri, from Chandri control and led them into an assault upon all mages, for reasons you both find justified. I, however, am uncertain when the Seekers of Truth went from guarding against injustice to per perpetrating it. If you truly believe that is not the case, I suggest you look out a window at the cow... Ca <laughs> at the chaos... Ca chaos... I always struggle with this word. This war has caused, and ask yourself if Thedas will recover even if you are victorious. I remain at Divine Justinia's right hand, and will stay there, even if you brand me traitor. I am sorry, but there is too much at stake to swerve from the path we willingly followed at the Chandri's foundation. From a letter by Seeker Cassandra Pentagast to Lord Seeker Lucius Corin. Dragon 939. You know, I... I can read pretty quickly in my head. <laughs> but I... I haven't read out loud for so many years, not since school. In English, I mean. So... Yeah, there you have it. That's the reason I struggle in my videos. <laughs> I just need to get used. It's gonna take a while. Divine Justinia, the fifth. Oh, also, when I'm reading in my mind, I can choose how to pronounce certain words. Like, I can read her as Justinia, with more of a French accent, or Justinia. <laughs> and it's it happens more quickly, because I don't have to decide. <laughs> sometimes I read it as um, the first one, sometimes the second one. And now I have to make conscious decisions when I read out loud, so that's another reason I struggle so much. Formerly, the revered mother Dorothea of Orlais, Divine Justinia the fifth rose to power after the death of divine Beatrix the third in the year 934 of the Dragon Age. Little is known of Dorothea's background before she joined the Chantry as an initiate, but she proved to be a liberal and daring thinker, <clears throat> willing to take former bard and lay sister Leliana as a close advisor. A headstrong devotion to her own agenda and rumored support of the Mage Rebellion earned her no small dislike from the powerful priests long used to controlling access to the divine. That's one reason to like her. <clears throat> In the year 940 of the Dragon Age, Divine Justinia called a summit, intending to negotiate a truce between the Mage Rebellion and the Templars splintered from the Chantry. The Divine Conclave was held at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, the most holy place in Tedas. 
Before a resolution could be reached, a cataclysmic explosion destroyed the conclave, consumed the, tem the temple, rent the sky and shattered the world's hopes for peace. Divine Justinian V perished in the temple of sacred ashes, the chantry flounders, leaderless, in the wake of her death, and its fate grows increasingly uncertain. If order is not restored to Tedas, Justinian V might be remembered as the chantry's final divine. Oh, there's more. <sighs> I'm still not sure how to pronounce this. But I would say Lavellan. Lavellan sounds... I don't like it. Lavellan. Sounds like Letalin. Lavellan of the, of the Dalish. The Dalish are elves who refuse to live in a... Live. <laughs> Those are the city elves. They refuse to li leave. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Once again, the Dalish are elves who refuse to live in human cities where their people are exploited, having few rights. They choose to eke out an independent existence in the forest, attempting to keep the last remnants of their ancient culture alive. Fera, that's me, is from Clan Lavellan, a group of Dalish who migrate around the perpetually feuding free marches. <laughs> Fera's people travel along the borders of each city-state's territory, where free march rulers will be less inclined to attack them, for fear of accidentally provoking neighboring cities. Fera became... Sounds like Fera. If anyone knows who Fera is, hey! Fera became a hunter at a young age, growing into a respected protector and provider. The recent mage rebellions disturbed her clan's way of life, as the fighting spilled out into the countryside. Clown Lavellan's leader, Keeper Deshana Istimaitoriel Lavellan <laughs> chose Fera to spy on the meeting at the Temple of Sacred Ashes between the Divine and the Fielding. Seriously, how do you pronounce that? Factions. I would Google it, but it would take too long. So she could bring back news of the outcome. After the explosion that killed the Divine, Fera was the only survivor. Rumors that the mysterious mark on her hand is a sign of the Maker's favor were spread by those who claim they saw the Divine Prophet and Rasta herself lead Lavellan out of the Fade. The Dalish Elves In time, the human empires will crumble. We have seen it happen countless times. Until then, we wait. We keep to the wild borderlands. We raise Hala and build Aravels and present a moving target to the humans around us. We try to keep hold of the old ways, to relearn what was forgotten. We call to the ancient gods, although they, knew they do not answer and have not heard us since before the fall of Arlathan or Arlathan so that one day they might remember us Elganan, the eldest of the sun and he who overthrew his father Mital, the protector Fenharel, the dread wolf Andruil, the huntress Falondin, the friend of the dead their their Tamen, the Keeper of Secrets, Gilanine, Gilanine? the Mother of Hala, June, master, the Master of Crafts, and Silais, the Heart Keeper. We gather every ten years for the Ar Arlathven to retell 
the ancient stories and keep them alive. For when the human kingdoms are gone, we must be ready to teach the others what it means to be elves. As told by Gisharel or, or Gisharel? G yeah, Gisharel. No, I, I prefer Gisharel. <laughs> Keeper of the Ralaferin clan of the Dalish elves. It's probably Gisharel. Some things I'm aware are pronounced differently, I just don't care. I'm gonna pronounce them the way I like, the way I think they sound more majestic or magical or whatever. The Conclave. It has been a year of little more than chaos. Yes, the mages voted to dissolve the Circle of Magi, but I will point out this vote came only after increased restrictions were placed on them following the unfortunate events in Kirkwall. What other choice did they have? Yes, the Templar Order abandoned their duties and elected to pursue the mages and bring them, to bring them back in line. But after a thousand years in which their sole role was the mages' keepers, what else could we one expect? They envisioned the war over quickly, a single battle that would see the mages resolve crumble, after which they would meekly return to confinement. That did not happen. This conflict could drag on forever, with advantage on neither side. Both Templars and mages see this, and thus they have agreed to come to the conclave. This is our chance. Words need to be said which have not been said. A compromise must be reached because there is no other choice. I believe this with all my heart. I am not without fault in all this. Perhaps I push too hard for reform, or not hard enough. The Maker has seen fit to give me another chance. I will not squander it. The Temple of Sacred Ashes is where together we will make history, and with luck we will be remembered kindly for it. From the Journals of Divine Justinia V, Dragon 9.14.1 Yeah, I like this one. The Breach. What does it mean to pierce the veil? That which separates our world from the realm of dreams and de demons. For the average man and woman, it is a frightening thought to consider just how fragile this separation actually is. The veil is not a physical curtain, not a structure limited to a particular place. It is everywhere. It is in their home, in the streets where they walk, in farmers' fields as well as remote mountain vales. At any moment it could be torn to shreds, allowing demons and other horrors to flood into our world, like water through a burst dam. Known lore tells us that small rifts can be sealed, but what about a large one? What if some catastrophic magical event created a rift so large and horrific it weakened the integrity of the veil as a whole. Such a breach would threaten our entire world, turning concerns about occasional demonic intrusion into a charming anecdote compared to the monsters we would then face. If there is anything to be done, any reason we should look at magic with fear, it is for that possibility more than any other. From the true threat of magic by Lady Seeker Alandra Vael. Vael? So, like Sebastian? Oh, his Vale. So, Alandra Vale. Okay. Alright, so. Is a 
are coming faster now. The larger Thanks, I didn't notice. <laughs> They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. So pretty. A woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything farther in the valley was laid waste, including the Temple of Sacred Ashes. I suppose you'll see soon enough. If my PC could handle a little bit more, I would be using a cinematic reshader. It looks amazing with it on. Alas. I can't record and use that. So interesting how they appear. <laughs> oh, hey. So keep in mind, I'm kind of new to playing as a warrior. Hey. But I'm very excited about it. It's like playing a new game. <laughs> it's over. Drop your weapon now. Mm. <laughs> I love how I'm holding my weapon. All right. Have it your way. Wait. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Oh, I love my eye color. I did well. Take these <gasps> Make a note what we will face. Okay, this is really weird. Okay, so I made a video before this, I was trying to play a mage, an elven mage, but I hated it, so <laughs> I decided to go back and redo everything. Um, so the thing is, I was complaining in that video about the demons not dropping loot. And I was commenting that on my human warrior, <laughs> they dropped loot every time. And now, when I'm playing a warrior again, there you go, loot. This sucks. It's not fair. <laughs> and I think mages get even less loot than archers. I don't know if this is real, if I'm just if we flank them, we imagining it. But it's oh so easy. By the way, I'm on nightmare mode. I don't know if I have any trials turned on. I think I do. We'll see in a second. See, again, it dropped! Oh my god. <laughs> so my theory is correct. Warriors get loot. That's so weird. I have to look into that. Okay. I... Come on, man. I know, I've played through this quite a few times. Oh, I don't have trials on. Uh. I'll check them later. But I am on Nightmare. Okay. So Nightmare on a Warrior is a breeze. 
I always played on hard with my archer because it was too annoying. And now I'm just having a blast. Hey. <laughs> Don't you run away from me. I'm dealing so much damage and I can survive a lot so <sighs> warriors are like easy mode But so yeah, no offense to anyone who plays warriors, but damn. I wonder how it is in previous games. I never I could never play a warrior. I tried so hard, but always when I was playing um when I was playing a human noble in Origins, I was always um a rogue even though I prefer mages. I, I just can't handle being a warrior. Oh yeah, so it's weird because when I first started playing co combat games um, I was playing I think my first ever combat game was I mean, what I stuck with, not just tried out was Perfect World it's a it's an MMO. That was many years ago. <laughs> and I was a tank there. I think. so long ago but wait I can't switch to her oh so later I played Aeon another MMORPG and I was a tank there and I loved it then I turned into a cleric and loved it more <laughs> But I was pretty good at tanking and oh, I want to heal her. What the hell? Oh, we have no potions. Did I miss grabbing the potions? What happened? Let's go back. I don't want to die. So it's not like I have no absolutely no experience in playing as a warrior I just don't like it I don't like how they make warriors in games but it all changed with this oh them oh okay okay I thought I can't go back up I think it was here somewhere that she gave me potions or told me to pick up some potions Nope. Mm -hmm. Oh god, how how far away is it? What the hell? Are those lemons? <laughs> what the hell, Cassandra? Maybe it bugged out or maybe No no no, but I, I remember getting potions on the hard mode. Uh, not hard. Nightmare. That's so weird. Did you use up all the potions? No, no, no. What happened? I have to check after this. Anyway. We'll make it somehow. I think. Oh boy. Maybe it's because I'm talking and I'm not paying attention and she's dying, but that doesn't explain the potions. <laughs> 
Right, so classes. Uh, a warrior is my new favorite class in Dragon Age <coughs> Inquisition. Please don't die. Crap. This is bad. Please don't die, Cassandra, please. <laughs> oh, good. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons <laughs> forever. <Very laughs> I'm gonna do it. Rogue. Storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. <laughs> Are you with the Chantry or <laughs> was that a serious question? <laughs> Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. I love how Solas has been with them for such a short time and yet he's already familiar with, you know, the, how they... Uh, who they are! It's cute! So I closed the rift. What now? Now we go to meet Leliana. What a great idea! Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. <laughs> My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Okay. I am... I think this is the time to say two things. First, this is why I'm playing an elf. <laughs> I decided I'm gonna romance this beautiful egg right there. Uh, otherwise, I, I would always pick playing a human. But the last two times I played, I romanced Iron Bull. And it's kind of getting tired. I need a little drama in my life. So we're going for this. Uh, and the second thing is that I assume people who watch this have already played through the game, but I will try not to spoil anything. Also, some people have played through the game, but haven't played the DLCs. So yeah that's there's a lot of spoilers in the dlcs let's put it like that <laughs> you seem to know a great deal about it all solas is an apostate well versed in such matters technically all mages are now apostates cassandra my travels have allowed me to learn much of the fade far beyond the experience of any circle mage i came to offer whatever help i can give with the breach if it is not closed, we are all doomed, regardless of origin. I love his clothes. They're, they look so comfy and loose. I love loose clothes. And what will you do once this is over? One hopes those in power will remember who helped, and who <laughs> did not. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. 
Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. Oh, you know. You don't have to have power to do something scary like this. You just have to have knowledge and resources. I'm just saying. Oh god, we need healing. Oh, what am I doing? This is so weird. We should be... Ha Ah, of course the game had to bug out on me when I decide to record and I actually get into what I'm recording. Hmm, I wanted to say something else. What was it? Demon set. Oh boy. Can I save? You Damn me it. Down, uh. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Be grateful, everyone. Okay. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, crap. This is bad. This is bad! <laughs> oh. Well, she's dying too! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh no, no. Okay. <laughs> we need someone. Uh, okay. No, 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 don't kill me, don't. <laughs> Shoot. Can we make it? Can we make it, Varric? Can we? Nope. Shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, crap. I was so happy that oh wait maybe we can go back oh no <laughs> oh do I have to replay every single thing oh let's see let's see what happens I saved anyway I want to see if the potions bug out oh <sighs> This is not cool game. <laughs> You're not making me look good. Just when I was bragging on about how easy it is as a warrior, <laughs> the game decided to Your fuck me over. Ah, my controller died again. Come on, dude. Something doesn't want me to play. I don't believe in coincidences. But I ignore everything <laughs> my intuition tells me. Hmm. Okay. So now that I'm not talking, maybe I'll, we'll play through this more quickly. <laughs> Which doesn't mean I won't talk. <laughs> I'm gonna skip. I'm a really quiet person. Well, that's, that's not true. I was a really quiet person all my life. So... This is kind of me... Um, trying to change and open up and 
talk more. Especially out loud. Uh, now this bugged out. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Drop your weapon. All right. Did you give me potions? Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I... Me not checking the potions last time... Bugged it out somehow. I'm gonna save now. <laughs> Can you tell how many times I've played through this? I hate this part of the game. <laughs> I would hate any part I would... I, that I have to play over and over again. <laughs> When I start a new character, if I don't play consistently and I return to the game later on, I can't, I can't just continue where I left off. I have to make a new character. My potions are still here. <laughs> we can do this now. I'm sorry about all the jumping. I just... I feel like I'm moving faster when I jump. Also, it's fun. Oh, now I can control them. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. guard <laughs> disappeared so quickly let me mm. it's honestly easier last time <gasps> what if playing an elf actually makes you weaker I don't really like the idea of an elven warrior but unfortunately you can ruin certain people only if you're elf so if you're an elf damn it <sighs> i wish the jump and loot button were different <laughs> But also, it's convenient. Oh, look at the bear! <laughs> Why do games keep doing this to me? In every game I play, there's a dead bear! <laughs> huh? Oh. My number one choice for a nickname actually was Loot Bear because I love looting more than anything 
Like I said, I would probably lose a battle just to loot <laughs> during it. Eh, 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 eh. Leave my people alone. What? Oh, they killed it. Oh, finally. I think I can... Yes, I have access to my party now. Wait. Even the... Even this didn't drop anything. Okay. I won't complain. I'm just happy I have potions. <laughs> 